and welcome to TIA Spring Policy Summit 2014. That's the 15th annual Spring Policy Summit. We're here talking to Marie Roy. She's the Senior Director of International Affairs, American Region at Alcatel Lucent. And Marie, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks for being here. Um, wanted to get your quick take on today's events at TIA Spring Policy Summit 2014. Well, let me first say how much I look forward to this every year. Um, as always, uh, there are always current um, panels of, of things I'm very interested in. Like today, we had the international panel, uh, a view from the Hill, a view uh, from the FCC, and even futuristic panels, um, for example, on the Internet of Things. Um, we had an interesting keynote. I think that I learned today was actually the first time ever from a FTC commissioner. So again, I think it's nice to have the opportunity to hear from government officials, private sector um, participants about current, uh, tr current activities and future trends. Now, of course, there was a, a keynote given by Ambassador Sepulveda. Uh, were you available for that keynote, by the way? Well, I actually had the good fortune of actually uh, introducing Ambassador uh, Sepulveda for that keynote. So I'm on the International Committee of TIA. So I'll just say that I uh, introduced him and had a chance to tell the audience about his background and having worked for four U.S. senators, and he uh, worked uh, in three positions in two administrations, twice for President Obama and once for President Clinton. And then they went on to uh, have uh, the panel, which included somebody from the uh, USTR, uh, someone from the FCC, which is Mendel De La Torre, Rob Tanner from USTR, and Holly Vineyard, who is from the uh, Commerce Department, I mean, uh, moderated by Jennifer Sanford of Cisco. Now, uh, with that said, you, you did the introduction for the ambassador. Uh, tell us about his current position, and did anything stand out to you about what he said today? Well, his current position is Deputy um, Assistant Secretary and U.S. Coordinator of Information Policy and Communications for the U.S. Department of State in the Economic Bureau. Um, he is responsible for leading and coordinating for the United States. Um, in fact, he just got back from the ITU meeting in Dubai, where the uh, topic was um, on broadband and sustainability, and he led the U.S. delegation. Uh, one of the things he talked about today was the subject of Internet governance, and he'll be leading a delegation down in Brazil. Um, and he also talked about uh, the basic framework of the Internet and a number of the trends that are happening globally, uh, which he sees in his responsibility area. So I'll just say that I thought it was a very thoughtful uh, opening remarks to the panel. And um, the ambassador is doing a really good job of uh, bringing the private sector and the government together, uh, representing the U.S. position. I want to ask you why, um, of course, this is an annual event, TIA Spring Policy Summit. Why do people come back to this particular event? What, what's unique about it? Uh, not only do you have a chance to um, hear people speak in a panel setting, um, another aspect of the weekend, and that's one thing I'll emphasize, it starts on Friday and ends on Sunday morning, is uh, there's also some time to have uh, engagement uh, with the receptions and after hours. I, uh, I'll even applaud uh, TIA for having a, some mores in the evening. And so you've got, uh, I, today's even golf, right after the uh, afternoon event. So you have a chance to get to know people um, from a social level and also from a professional level. Uh, what the benefit of that is, is that, uh, for example, one of the people I've been tr trying to uh, have an opportunity to uh, talk to about an issue, so today I saw that person here, and we're, we're going to be able to work through that next week, and this person's going to help me get an appointment with somebody I need to get an appointment with. Uh, so one of the things that happens sometimes uh, is that you have a, a lot of things that you're working on, and you can come to an event like this and go around and talk to a lot of people at the same time. And, and I think it's just very, very time effective. Are there other uh, uh, similar events that may be larger that you wouldn't be able to necessarily rub elbows, if you will, with high-level FCC uh, commissioners and, and employees? Is that the case? You know, there are other industry associations, uh, but I will say that I think that not only do you have the ability here to have... Um, let's say an FCC commissioner, one of the things about TIA is that you have, um, not only do you have commissioners, you also have the administration, you also have members of Congress, you also have staff. As an example, the ambassador, um, Danny Sepulveda, has his senior advisor here. So the key thing about that is that you sometimes 
you know, need to also have the support staff that are part of that uh, team. And in, in this forum, you, you, you really have both. And so the other thing I'd add is that it's uh, almost like a three-dimensional where you've got kind of a full sphere of people in, um, um, from all the different groups. And Marie, thanks so much for your time. Thanks. And I'll hope to see you uh, here next year. Oh, Abe, thank you very much for having me today. I appreciate it.